Alex, why are you wearing that jacket? It's like 75 degrees. The sun's out, you know? I thought you said you were gonna go swimming anyway. You bring a jacket, but you don't bring a swimsuit? Huh? I brought the jacket because I like the jacket. And I never said I wanted to go swimming. You just inferred it because I asked when the community pool opens. <laughs> I inferred it? Hey, Michael, we didn't bring drinks. Did we? I thought we said we'd bring drinks. We didn't bring drinks? You didn't bring drinks. Oh, poo. Today turned out to be a flawless day. It really did. Yeah, no, it did. It really did. I wanted to bring a kite, but thought you'd laugh at me. Uh, yeah, um, it really is kind of ideal, actually. Yeah, I'm like, right about to start sweating, but I'm not. No, it is perfect ice cream and tennis weather. That is rare. It's been a spell since we did something, right? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's classes? How's... What's his face? Mr. Collins' English? Uh, it's been... I, I don't know. It's been... Ah, sorry. I think... Yeah, I... <laughs> I accidentally left my phone on the ferry because I do things like that. <laughs> oh, God, you idiot. Go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. <laughs> Okay, I guess. So... Uh... <laughs> Do you... Well, I guess you don't remember anything, right? What am I meant to remember? I'm sorry, did I forget something? Uh, forget it. It's alright. Um, I'm glad we could all do stuff today. I'm glad you were cool with it, I mean. I know you guys are really close and, like... I know it can be annoying when somebody starts keeping all their time for their girlfriend or whatever. So, I think it would be cool if we could, like, continue to do things together. Yeah, I, uh, totally understand. And, yeah, let's, uh, do stuff, you know. Cool, cool. Michael, uh, he loves you, like, a lot. I'm sure you know that, but he talks about you all the time. <laughs> oh, Alex did this, and... Alex let the frogs out in science class. Isn't she hilarious? He just, uh, he thinks you're a cool girl. Yeah, I know already. I had to fight the skipper for it, but he didn't reckon how many squats I could do. What's it up to? Six? Only on burrito days. On non-burrito days, it's like eight. So apparently you love me. Is that right? <laughs> well, if I don't, I don't know why I got you that skateboard for your birthday. You skate? Not yet. Oh my god, I forgot about that thing. How could you already forget? I gave it to you like two months ago. <laughs> I'm sure it'll get a lot of use. So, I actually really want a cold something, so I'm gonna run into town and get like a soda. Anybody want anything? Um, no, nah, I'm good. Uh, yeah, get me a drink too? Sure, I'll be back. Okay, I'm here, what's the story? I want the news. I want the Alex first edition. What's going on? Things are bad, actually. Mom and Dad aren't great, and I'm like a hair trigger away from spinning off this planet. And... Hey, hey, look. First of all, Mom and Dad are Mom and Dad. They fight a lot, but they're whatever. Everything always blows over. It's gonna be fine. You're too young. We're too young to worry about marital discord. It's not gonna be fine. It's not gonna be fine. I... I know how this goes. I have insider information, let's just call it, okay? Look, just because Janie's parents got a divorce and made poker nights super uncomfortable doesn't mean ours have to too, all right? And look, I know this was supposed to be our day, but I completely forgot I promised Clarissa I'd do something with her, so thanks for chaperoning. I know it's not what you had in mind, so... But I owe you. What do you see in her, really? 
Okay, here's, okay. Tuesday night, she dragged me to a comedy club for open mic, shoved me on stage, and then proceeded to curse out the entire bar when they didn't laugh at my horrible jokes. And that was a Tuesday. So, that's what I see in her. Yeah. I'm sorry, I just don't get it. It's important to me that you like Clarissa, Alex, so tell me the truth. What do you really think of her? Stick with it. Stay with her. If she makes you happy, if she makes you laugh, who am I to say anything otherwise? Thank you. Good blessings, good tidings. You know, I never noticed. That's a good-looking jacket. I should ask for it back. I don't like my new one. Feels like I got shoes on my arms or something. No way, bucko. <laughs> bucko? You haven't called me that in years. Alex, are you all right? <laughs> okay, uh, are you are you back? You've been acting super weird for like the last five minutes. Do 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 you know that? I mean, I let it go for the first two, but then it got stranger. I uh, I I don't know. What was I doing? Um, you kind of slowed down, then stopped, then you were just shuffling your feet like you forgot how to actually move. And then you were kind of just muttering to yourself about like sandwiches or something. Whole thing was a weird little show, like. You were having a stroke or something. I... I was? Yes, you said it doesn't matter what's in it. Potato chips always improve a sandwich. It was like to yourself. Whatever, as long as you're back among the living, let's just head to the gate, try the radio. You didn't die. Did you get it? Did it work? Do you hate me because it didn't work? It worked. It worked. We got the, well, actually, turned out to be a radio, but I guess it can open doors and gates and stuff with different frequencies. Really? But we can open the gate? Yeah, we think. Ah, good. How have you been? Any, uh, terror? My terror has been keeping it kind of a mild simmer, so, uh, it's a win. Better than it could have been. I guess. But if the radio's the thing... Wait, where's Clarissa? We can't leave yet without her. Have you seen her or heard from her? Yes, but she kinda then disappeared. Look, we got the way in. Let's just do what we meant to do and check to see if the boat works. But not leave yet, right? Listen, if we have the key, which is apparently this radio, then let's just go to the house and see. And if it looks like we can leave that way, then we'll go on a Clarissa hunt. <sighs> All right. I think you're supposed to use the radio to tune into the gate, right, Alex? So are you going to try the gate thing, or...? If we're still going to go to the house, let's just do it. Try the radio, Alex. Please have a boat, please have a boat, please have a boat. Just think happy thoughts. Yeah, happy thoughts. House is huge. That lady really knew how to live. It's like the Chateau de Adler. How did she get so rich if she was just like a communications person or whatever in the military? I think I said when we got here, her family like owned part of the island or something. I think she just inherited a lot, honestly. Oh, 
there's something in here. Just looks like vacation slides or something. She made a lot of... What should I call these? Slides? They're, they're not videos. Um, silent memories? Huh. Ren, you were right. There's like a ledger here. The Adler family does own the island. And here's a combination for a padlock to a... Chest is all it says. 29, 18, 54. A chest? Have you seen one yet? Let's just look. It'll probably just be more, whatever, banking files or something, but maybe we'll get lucky. Oh. Oh, it's like a... it's like a boat that needs keys. There are no oars. And before we go crazy, it's not... It wasn't with Maggie's stuff back at the office, like with the radio? No, we checked everything. Huh. Well, uh... What's plan B if we can't find it? Um... Keys, they... They have to be in the house. For the movers or her family, you know? That's as good a guess as any. Sometimes when I lock myself out of my house, I'll just... I can't help but just stare at the deadbolt trying to, like, hypnotize it to open or something. You ever do that? Um, not really. But we can try that now if you think it'll help. is a nifty gizmo. Finally. Carissa, oh, God, Jesus. you scared me. Thought you were like Maggie Adler's dead body or something. How would that make sense? Clarissa, where have you been? After we saw you in town, you just... Hey, I could ask you the same thing. It was like I sneezed and you were gone. I ended up in the fields and just decided to come here and like, wait it out. I haven't seen anybody since. So I thought I'd camp it up. Uh, and then how'd you get past the gate? It's like a slab of wrought iron. It looked impossible to climb. Well, apparently it's not that impossible since, you know, I'm here. I thought you hated physical activity. Uh, not when my life's in peril. Christ. Look, Clarissa's here. So everyone's here now. We can just... Everyone's okay, all right? That's a good yeah, thing. Yeah, let's just find the keys to the boat or a phone or whatever and just find a way home. I promise, we can all keep talking and or fighting at school on Monday. Fine, okay, let's focus up. Everybody find something and hope that it helps. Ah, <sighs> it's been disconnected. Bummer. Man, she owned enough books. It's mostly math, I think, ergodic thermodynamics. And religion, sheesh, okay, there's a Okay, we get it. She liked the smell of paper. Fascinating insight. We'll all miss her dearly. Okay, why don't you get off your ass and help then? I am helping, by keeping out of the way of more enterprising sorts like yourself. Ugh. Have you seen this? It's like a, a star map or a diagram of planets or something. Yeah, why would she need anything like a map of the universe? I mean, it's not like she's bouncing stuff off satellites for a job. Or maybe they were back then, what do I know? Maybe they needed to chart uh, signals through space or something? Yeah, maybe. How are you doing? How are you doing? I think about as bad as everybody else right now. I feel like I've been run over with a truck, with uh, acid wheels, if that makes sense. Yeah, that's pretty much been the slogan of the night. We'll make shirts when we get home. We'll be okay. Oh, it's a, it's a draft of her letter that she left in the office. To whom it should concern. She left notes everywhere, she said, hidden with secret signals. She was an odd one, I'll give her that. 
But, you know, cool in a way. Maybe she was up to something, you ever think of that? I mean, she's wrapped up in this thing somehow. Maybe, but also things don't have to make sense. Sometimes stuff just happens, and that's the end of it. Oh, that's an attic? Thought it was like a cat's toy or something. Wanna come up? Yeah, sure. You know what? This might be the, um, the chest that takes that combination. 29, 18, 54. It's a lot of radios and those containers we saw at the town office. Oh, and like a map of the caverns. She's written here, tune into the source. What do you think that means? She couldn't have known about the ghosts, right? Tune into the source. It, it's probably something about the special radios, you know? Huh. Is this... Ah, the boat keys. Got them. Perfecto. All right, we got keys for the boat. Where? Jonas found them in a chest upstairs. So, say thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I was just saying it. It's not directed at you or anything. Okay. Come down here, please. We have something we want to show you. <laughs> Clarissa, what's going on? You're confused, aren't you? Well, you should be. How does it go? Things are different except in a different way? <laughs> Just come downstairs so we can get started. Nona, come on, honey. It's time to motor. Ren, come on, we got a boat to catch, buddy. Jonas, don't... don't just sit there, we're in a time shift loop thing. Ah, there you are. Now we imagine you're a bit confused, but don't fret. This will be the final part of your training, Alex. All training is supervised by very skilled instructors. Stop. Just stop whatever this is, can't you? Just just fix my friends, please. Your friends are as fine as they've ever been, okay? There's nothing to bleed over. You signed up for this, Alexandra. In the caverns, you tuned in to our signal. So please, I cannot bear your excuses, offspring. You walked in here with clear eyes. How was I meant to know what the hell was going to happen? And yet, without understanding... ...your footing, you still acted. But don't worry. The test is easy. We will speak of something we see in the house. And you will go and find it. See? As simple and good-humored as your mother's apple pie. What is it with you guys and all the... The games! You're like dogs or children. Just what is the point? The point, dear. The point is that they were never games. And you can figure that out by your lonesome. Now, let's start with the softball. I spy, with my little eye, radiation. There is, of course, a time limit here. So, is it... are you talking about the TV? Very good. Well done. The older models admitted x-rays. But right now, you'd be wise to think of radiation in another sense. Pay attention. What does this have to do with, with us? I mean, we're I not. spy. With my little eye, a notch. Let's make this a little harder, okay? Eight. Uh, is it the... the this painting? It, it looks kind of like a knot. Excellent, excellent, excellent. You're doing so well. It's time for the bonus round, Alex, so stay quick. This is what you really want to find. I spy with my little eye a picture of a memory. Be fast now. The, the picture of, of... I guess it's Maggie Adler and somebody. Is this it? 
Yes, very nice. That's Margaret Adler and her friend Emma. See, you and your schoolyard chums are experiencing... Well, this has sort of happened before. Maggie and Emma tried to sport with us many years ago and, well, only one survived. And in the process, we discovered a way for us to return, so to speak. It just takes a little time. And a far-reaching tolerance for the ignorance. Okay, if we... if I help you, will you stop whatever it is that you're doing with my friends? Ah, uh, well... There's the rub. Do not have eternal recurrence. The waves. It's the waves, we think. And we will use those waves to absorb into your friends so that sunlight blooms into flowers. And we will grow. And we will engulf. Wait, what... what happens to them after you're... absorbed? Their form will exist with us inside. It will be a swap, you see, of essences, I guess you could call them. We tried it too quickly with Anna, but now we know to wait and soak. We had to keep you here, on the island. And it will be a great honor, Alex, really, to carry us through this life. And on to the next. Please, just don't do this. We're... we're not... It's sad, I know, to lose the facility to feel, to be, but... We have not felt anything for a very long time. And we'll do whatever is necessary. Our vessel dashed on the rocks. We had until dawn, and so will you. We would spend our time wisely, and... We thank you for your good service. So, I'm kind of screwed. Hopefully this will work as usual. He can live his own life. Okay, seriously, who are you? So we can go on. <laughs> I always think I'm gonna be sick. Me first. Uh, it wasn't a dream or a vision or something. You and Clarissa standing in the living room just now, was it? Ugh. Clarissa. No, that was very, very real. We're in, like, trouble. Yeah. God, that all really just happened? Well, I mean, we're in trouble only if you don't like getting your soul consumed by a hundred-year-old submarine crew. Okay. So, I mean, Christ. If Clarissa was whisked away to the cave by nuclear submarine monsters, then... I mean, the plane has to be to retrieve her, right? I'm still going to call them ghosts, if that's okay. A ghost is a monster, so... No, completely that's the plan. Of course it is. Clarissa is not going to be the human sponge for some evil island ghosts. Not on my watch. Well, if we're going to the cave... Oh, actually, I forgot. I saw the entrance has been caved in since you guys went inside. All right. I know there are a whole bunch of secret communist bomb-fearing tunnels dug into this place during the 1950s. And Maggie has loads of film about military stuff in her basement, so... Maybe there's a way back into the cave through one of those, you're thinking? <sighs> Let's take a look. What kind of name is a Fippany Fields anyway? Wait, is it a Fippany? It's a Piffany Field. Oh, that makes more sense. There's already something in here. 
Experiments and Findings of Experienced Phenomena, January 52. Awesome. Oh, man. If this turns out to be just prehistoric home videos... Yeah. I'm sure this is just the... Uh... God, it's just the first thing. Just give it a second to warm up, will you? Okay, we're getting warmer, I think. So, if you look at the, like, lines or whatever, the bomb shelter should lead right into the cave. Just like from another angle. According to this, at least. Oh, so it does. But won't it be, like, locked or something, right? Yeah, how do we get in? It's just like the cave wall, only steel or whatever bomb shelters are made out of. Oh, what? She knew about these things? Wow, that's crazy. It says that to fix a temporal tear, that's a mouthful, in the cave, we would need to transpose to the other side and tune into the source within itself? Okay, but we're not doing that, right? Good question. Yeah, that's... that's going a little above. Above and beyond. Well, I don't know what to tell you, but strap in, boys and girls, because we might have to, okay? If it's the only thing that will fix us. Yeah, but that's, like, scary. Well, something better work. Or we're boned. Or we're boned. Precisely. Oh, sorry, this is like... this looks like the end, but from the... from the wrong film thing. No, 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 wait. This is something I actually remember from that stupid radio tour thing, because it, like, sounded so weird. It's called the call and response system. It unlocks the bomb shelter. This is showing us how to do it. See? It says, when someone sends an emergency signal from the Capard station in the woods, and the receiving station confirms it. It's like a connected response thing. Brilliant! Really? It's good enough for me. Alex and me will head through the woods, do the, um, call part. You and Ren can hang by the door to the bomb shelter and open it when it's ready. Wait, wait, I, um, I'm sorry, I kind of zoned out there for a second. What are we doing? Ren and Nona are team, um, Soaring Eagle, and you and I are awesome squad. Uh, I want that one. And we're splitting up to work on some old fangled machinery to open the bomb shelter, to get into the cave, to yada yada yada, save our lives or whatever. All right, break. And if anything goes wrong, please, don't tell me. I won't want to know. Well, now I'm going to run over there and specifically tell you at the first drop of bad news. No!